Today we're going to do a basic side-by-side -side specs comparison of the DJI Mini 3 and the DJI Mini 3 Pro. I'm going to compare the cameras, video capabilities, battery life, and more. And I hope you stay till the end to see which one I decided to get. Now I'm not sponsored by DJI, but I love their products and I simply wanted to share my experience with them. My name is Shai, welcome back to the channel. For today, let's fly right in. So before I jump into the differences, there are a few similarities. The Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro both weigh 249 grams and both shoot in vertical mode, which is great for Instagram and other social media outlets. But now let's see where they're different. Let's start off with the cameras. For photography, the Mini 3 shoots 12 megapixels and 48 megapixels for the Mini 3 Pro. Now, unless you're printing your image on a poster, 12 megapixels, I would say is just fine. Both shoot 4K, but the Mini 3 at 30 frames per second and the Mini 3 Pro up to 60 frames per second and 2K at 120 frames per second. So in other words, the Mini 3 Pro can shoot slow motion, but the Mini 3 can't. Now I'd say shooting slow motion on a drone is preference anyway to the type of content you produce. So this will be valuable to some and not to others. Now let's talk shooting in low light and ISO. The Mini 3 shoots up to 3200 ISO and the Mini 3 Pro shoots up to 6400 ISO. Not a deal breaker for me as I tend to use lower ISOs anyway because I choose to shoot when lighting is good. Though having the extra range is nice if you're in a pinch and you can't avoid being in low light conditions. So when you're getting all this amazing video footage, you need to make sure you have good flight time, meaning battery life. You might be surprised who the winner is here. The Mini 3 gets 38 minutes of battery life and the Mini 3 Pro gets 34 minutes. And if you buy the battery plus, the Mini 3 gets 51 minutes and the Mini 3 Pro gets 47 minutes. But keep in mind the bigger battery pushes you over 249 grams in the drone's weight. The Mini 3 records at 100 megabits per second and 150 megabits for the Mini 3 Pro. So 50 more megabits of data means a slightly higher image quality, which is always nice. The Mini 3 does not have active track or obstacle avoidance. However, the Mini 3 Pro has both obstacle avoidance and active track features. Basically with active track, you can set a focus point and the drone will follow you while your hands may be occupied. Maybe you're on a bike or on a boat. Now obstacle avoidance is what it sounds like. For the Mini 3 Pro, there are sensors on the front and back only, not side to side. This feature does take a little bit out of the guesswork of shooting video with a drone and comes in clutch in those close call situations. So look, in a nutshell, both are small, compact, and great for travel. But which one did I get? It's probably obvious, but I got the Mini 3 Pro. Why? Active Track and its 4K capabilities did it for me. I also purchased the remote controller with a screen. I love that you don't have to connect your phone anymore. It makes flying quick and fun. However, if you're just starting out, the Mini 3 is the perfect starter drone, and it does save you a few hundred bucks. Now, whichever drone you pick up, fly safe and responsibly. And if you're looking for accessories, specifically for the Mini 3 Pro, links in the description. Now, leave a comment and let me know which drone you ended up getting. Like and subscribe for more product reviews and tutorials, and stick around, and I'll see you on the next video.